सकता है Location X, as we'll be referring to it as, is a church in Suffolk with a history of hauntings dating back many years. So the first thing you notice when you come here is how strange its position is. Um, to one side of the churchyard you've got fields and, and as it has been for hundreds of years, and the other side you've got the modern industrial estate. Um, so it is kind of a strange location, although it never was originally like this, it was in the middle of nowhere. Um, originally, so it has changed a lot over the years, and maybe that has changed in some way the dynamic of the haunting here. The oldest part of the church dates back to the 15th century, with additions such as the brick tower being added on in the 16th century. Although this is the known age of the current building, it's believed that another much older church may have stood on the land hundreds of years before this one. Today, the church is no longer used for worship and hasn't been since the 1970s, this largely being down to its isolated location before, of course, the existence of the modern industrial estate. Jason Duke has been investigating Location X since 1997 and will be joining us for tonight's investigation. So you've been investigating here since, what, 97? 97, yeah. Yeah, so, time. fair while. Um, Thoroughly old now. <laughs> Um, I wasn't one at the time, I'm not going to say anything like that. Um, but yeah, so in the churchyard, as well as inside the church, there's been a lot of strange things that have happened to you. Um, What's been sort of the most prominent things for you over the years? In the time that I've come here, there, there has been, I'd say, just about every type of phenomenon that you could count on the paranormal has been recorded here. I would say definitely you've got um, emanations around that side, which is to me is just a ghost trying to show itself. Yeah. That was myself and, and a member of the United States Air Force saw that and he was really freaked out by it. And, you know, for someone who's a guy that puts missiles on planes to be that kind of freaked out. Was yeah. Um, here with ridiculous amounts of electromagnetism, I know there is there is a, a power thing over there. Um, but I've, you have to walk really close and be right underneath it to get yeah. anything. So I don't know why. But when you started, all of this industrial estate wasn't here when you first this, started. Yeah, yeah. Was it? God, that's how old I am. Yeah, so, really. Um, you, you basically walk from the road, which is probably like half a mile away. Yeah. Um, and this was just pretty much like it was a so wasteland. There was trees, bushes. Yeah. This was completely. I mean, it's, this has all been thinned out a lot. Yeah, yeah, there was no light coming through here. If you come in here and it was a dark, moonless night, it was dark. It dark, was properly yeah. dark. So you were relying on any equipment you had, and if that failed, as it did. You were in the I mean, and then obviously over in this direction, obviously you've got the main gate as you walk through here. There was people recording quite a bit of EVP here. Um, there was EVP recorded over there, including the one which said, I think you've heard, you look scared. Yes, I have heard. And then the, um, well, the, the, the best ghost image I think I've ever, ever recorded myself was obviously if something stood over there. And at the time that happened, there was a, a hell of a temperature variation from standing where this image was sighted where we were stood. So yeah, there's been a huge amount really. And like I said, that photo, I think, is extremely interesting looking at it. And being able to come here and see whereabouts it was taken is great as well. And of course, if you want to go back further from when I came here, you've got obviously the, the history of the people that came here. And basically, I, mean, I don't know how else you describe it, it was kind of a satanic worship. Yes. Thought. In the 1970s, when the church was abandoned, a group of people regularly performed dark and cult type rituals in and around the church. These practices included animal sacrifice and disturbingly the exhumation of human corpses from the churchyard. So I did want to bring this up. It was um, it was pretty heavy duty, wasn't it? It wasn't so much as sort of drawing a pentagram and being a bit edgy. It was they, they, yeah. The only edge, the edge that you would have seen here would have been the blades they would have been using to kill the rabbits. Yeah. Um, use that pump. But basically, you can see here you've got the big. The main window was taken out. 
There's a doorway as well that's been bricked up. That's where they gained access into it. And also, if you look here, you can see there are roads that are in the body where basically they were coming here and opening up graves. So they were even using they, yeah, bodies body in the... Yeah, yeah. just strange, strange, uh, strange. Nobody can say for sure, but it's possible that these occult practices are either bought through or disturbed something at the church, enhancing the haunting. It's also because of events such as this as to why we've been asked not to reveal the location of the church. So this is presumably the newest bit of the church in this yes. area. This is where uh, the, the, the people broke in in the 70s and done the sort of, uh, yeah, bad stuff really. Um, has there been anything you've experienced in this particular area? The only thing I can talk about is, is when, uh, funnily enough, we were both here with yeah, yes, that's the only time anything's yeah. ever happened here. Strange. And there was, we'd walked around, we'd had no, no readings of any sort, nothing. Dick Lord comes in here straight away, says there's something in the corner. And we go over to the corner and the EMF yeah, sure enough goes And that was the only person inside, the, so the yeah. only place inside the church that night where without any EMF, wasn't it? Awesome. <laughs> We're here. I'm not, I mean, I, I have it, to say that but I didn't, that's never happened. I, I honestly, hear. honestly, I made sure that door was shut. I don't know if any of you saw me come in. Yeah. Should <laughs> we put the keys in it? Hang on, because you need to really pull it. It's, it. You need to, yeah. That wasn't someone like starting to come in here and realise it. Just make sure. <laughs> I, I have to say, I've been in here a lot. I've never seen that happen. After checking outside, we saw that there was nobody that could have opened the church door. Although it was a fairly windy day, it's worth bearing in mind that the door is rather stiff and difficult to open, and it didn't do the same for the rest of the day or the night we were there. On top of this, we attempted to recreate the effect multiple times, but the door never opened and closed with the same force it had done the first time. So, after that pretty weird start to the... Uh evening and um, we've now come into the main part of the church and this is where you've had a huge amount of stuff happen more than outside in here we are. Oh, amazing i mean it, weirdly it in my head this just seems smaller but it's probably because it's been a while since you know but um we had obviously sat over there i would well, actually know the person that was recording was sat over here i was stood there and i was asking someone to show itself and then we had um a cross up here so that implies that it is whoever is haunting this church, it's someone with religious connection. Possibly, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then the other one was I was sat here. Again, calling out, asking for someone to show themselves. And whatever this was, it was, was huge. I mean, it, it basically it appeared to come through the door, go up the wall, go up the wall here, um, and then just moved around and it just went out of, out of sight. I had no idea what that was. Was it like a, a black shape or something? It was, well, the thing was, it was like, a, again, much similar to as, a, as I've described the emanation outside, something like a billowing gas that was trying yeah. to show itself to form itself. Someone has said to me, if you slow down enough, you can actually see that there is a a woman's form in there. I mean, I've never seen that personally, but again, you can, yeah. you're welcome to look at that and analyse it. But uh, EVP in here as well, lots of EVP. Again, lots of weird anomalies, noises, clicks, bangs. We've experienced that. Yeah, that was one of the more interesting things I've experienced was uh, when we investigated, it's the only time I've ever been in here before. And I, can't, I don't think they asked for something to happen. And it was like these almost static or someone going, can you whisper again? What was that? It sounded like a whisper, and also there was like a clicking sound that was really quite clear. No. Almost, literally, what? Just heard it behind my head. What was that? That's what I heard. Can you do that again? There. But it wasn't, because I initially thought it was coming from an object, you know, something drifting or something. First of all, it bats, but apparently I've, I've checked. Um, there are no bats in yeah. here. Yeah, but it was, you could pinpoint it, because it wasn't bangs. coming from an object, was it? It was no, coming it was from mid-air. Yeah. yeah. And also the loud bangs, though, don't forget the loud bang. Yeah. We, we had no idea what had caused that bang. Um, and it was a proper fud of wood, yeah. of somebody wood hitting wood. Um, you, were, you were there, I was here, Dick Mob was there. Was that? That wasn't me. That was a chair creaking, wasn't it? That was something through there, yeah. 
here, to here, to here. I don't think it was the door, Sam. It was just a quick. It sounded like the leg hitting the floor. Was this someone that just lifted it? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Although we can't say for sure, we believe that the sound we heard was one of the chairs in the other room being moved. With activity already heating up, we decided it was time to prepare for our nighttime investigation. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Would you be able to come and say hello? Was it dripping or was it? Oh, I'll click next to me. That. Yeah. Could you make a loud noise, please, to show us that you're here? I don't know about you at the moment, just quick observation. Yeah. I think it felt a bit stranger earlier. Yeah. When we first got here, then at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, which is when, funnily enough, we had stuff happen as well. Yeah, it feels a lot more relaxed, kind of thing. Well, earlier on, when we kept having stuff happening, we weren't even focusing on, on paranormal things. We were just talking amongst ourselves and then stuff would happen. Yeah. So maybe now we're all focused on it, it's gone away again. What are you feeling, Jason? I mean, this is your regular hotspot. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, I haven't been here as much as I should have been over the past sort of five or six years. Um, but nights often start off like this and it just builds. Uh, I know we often said that thing of the second part of the investigation always seems to be the funkiest, seems to get the most activity. Yeah. But this is a place that it, it's almost like it has to get to know you and then it will. Well, I mean, earlier on it was just that playful stuff. Yeah. But I think if, if you were here, you give it enough time, it will give you something. Whether that will be a, a noise or um, a sighting. And that, 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 I, mean, that, that I think here I've had more sightings of stuff than anywhere else. Yeah. I'm going to go Hi. through. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I was going to say, I'm going to go through to that bit, just so we've got all areas covered then. Okay. If anything's heard through there, I'll be able to say what it is or yeah. vice versa. Cool, this is creepy in here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Go in there and look to the right, it's not very creepy. Like little... I don't know why, it just feels really heavy walking into here. Feels yeah, I, I know it's know. pitch black in here, but yeah. it does feel quite black. heavy. I feel like my heart, yeah. my heart rate has picked up. Are you sitting down? I am. I don't know if you sit on the wobbly chair or not. Let's see if that's like a hostage video. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to come and sit next to me and pray? I think it's just going to be a waiting game. Mm. Could you come and sit next to me? Or perhaps you want to come and sit next to me instead, I don't mind. I 
I'm sure I just felt something like brush up against my arm. Really? Yeah. Should you? Uh, yeah. Like I was sat looking at the I sea. You react to something. And it just, just as if, just gently, just leant up against my arm and brushed my arms. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture on camera whatever brushed up against Sophie's arm. Soon after this, we regrouped in the nave, where we began to record spikes and EMF for the first time that night. I just heard something behind you then, Luke. I mean? Yeah. Did you like it when we put the candles on? Would you like us to put them back on? Can you? Can you alarm how many candles you want us to put on? <laughs> One? That's eight again, that's going to be fun. Two? Three? You want three back on? What did I say at the start? Three yep, candles. three. Put them on then, Luke. Earlier on in the night, we decided to light some candles, and seeing as we were in a church, I suggested lighting three to represent the Holy Trinity. And for some reason, this seemed to be what the Spirit wanted. Is that only three? Is, does that mean there's three spirits? Are there three of you here? Oh, yes, there is. It's cold, isn't it? I don't know if I keep uh, putting them. Three of you, are you to do with the church? Put three lights on, on Luke's device. Put three lights on, come on. Are you going to energy around here? Around the green light. The amount of energy going through that, it's like it's trying to give it a come like a hand of this. Come on, three lights, three, three of them. Come on, come on, do it. Okay, do two then. Do you know how to light that one up? One bit for yes, two for no? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, put that one on as well. Come on, you can do that. Might take a little bit of time for you to work it out, but... It's the same principle, you're just going to put your energy onto it. I was using this as well. yeah. Yeah. for 20 years. Is there such a thing as drawing energy from candles? Oh. Yeah, because it's they create heat. heat yeah, energy, a heat energy. energy. Yeah, but then are they not you could the same be said, could they be using that energy? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, so I'm using it from the hand. Does it make yeah. no sense if that would be No no no, that. that's what I'm saying. I'm saying are they using the energy from the heat? It's thermal and light energy, so Yeah, but that would pick up No no that that wouldn't, but if they could convert, convert it yeah. somehow. Are you using the power of the candles to communicate with us? If you are, do one big quick burst of energy. So, if I was to blow all these candles out, you wouldn't be able to communicate, is that right? It's so panicky. Right, they've gone out. Now talk to us. Talk to us. So I think it's right. I think we're right about using the candles as energy from the heat. Did you, did you hear as Jason was blowing it out? It was like, no, no, Yeah, it was a panic. Can you talk to us now? Can you communicate or are you struggling? Just a little bit of noise and we'll have the candles back on. I feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a light. Maybe they're scared of the dark. 
Can you talk now? Oh, <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much for that. Are there more than are there three of you here? Yeah. Are you to do with the church? Are you doing something else? Were you here before the church? See, that's the sentence trying to say what it would. Yeah, we know the word that you would. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The thing is, you've got three of us trying to is, is there another way that you'd be able to communicate with us that we would be able to interpret better? Or is this the only way? Is this like the. It's full of energy, it's electromagnetism, it's uh, the most abundant energy in the universe. Do you think you could have another try at uh, getting the light to, to light up on this one? I feel like in my head I keep like translating the Please squiggly noises to stuff. Please use both yeah. devices to communicate. It isn't going to be that much more difficult for you to make both work. So can you please make both go on? Come on. Please try. That's 20% of the battery for one big burst of energy to light up both. Come on, can you do it? All three of you, if there are three of you here, use every bit of energy you have to make both of these go up. Come on, build it up. Please. It almost feels like buffering, like... Yeah, yeah. I hope it makes it way into... Is this sort of like... Well, this one, can you try with this one? Is that any other? No, it's the other way. Mm -hmm. Is this what you're doing? Yeah. What's that? This is so weird because it does feel like we're actually doing it. Yeah. Come on then. Oh, look. It's going. It just did it. It just did it. It just went. Yeah. That was fantastic. Thank you. Could you try that again, please? That's exactly what I'd do with the other. Yeah, yeah. Three lights. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to go. Oh, come on, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it might be hard of you to do that one. You might have been putting so much Actually, the thing is, have you noticed, though, since it's done that, this one has stopped. Yeah. So it is, it's moved over to that one now. Yeah. Have you changed frequency? <laughs> no, yeah. literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally have. I think you're have. right. Could I you think we're looking at this all wrong. Could you, it, is, it is like a transistor radio. It could you trans quickly, could you just give us one burst on one of the devices? Showing us which frequency you're on now, or which one you're using now. I think we might just have used all the energy. Yeah. Are you still here? I feel really strange. Sort of, I don't know. Like we've just been experiencing something. That's pretty. Really, it's really like talking to someone from a different country. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. It's like we're talking to someone. That's, that's amazing, isn't it? But and the thing is that anybody watching this could see the image meter you're holding because it's one being triggered that it's yeah, yeah. you know faulty or whatever. But then yes. to have it go to that yeah. and that one stops shows that that is it's it's moved. There's yeah, some there's also, there's some, uh, some after, interaction. After so long of having that next to it and not having anything, yeah. and then putting it near it and saying, can you use We've it? We've had that K2 meter out all night and, and it's not gone off. No, yet. it's not triggered at all. So the only time it's gone off is when, we, when we asked we it, asked it to, to, and you all stopped then Mine well. complete, there's, there's like nothing going through it at all now. No, without, I don't want to sound kind of a bit weird, but I, I thought that was quite emotional, really, that yeah. interaction. Oh, yeah. like, it, was, it was very personal. Yeah. Do you know what? Even for me, sat back there just watching you do that, I felt the same. I felt that emotion.